Hi, I'm Joe Marshall, your District 4 representative and current chair of the Implementation Committee. Hello, I'm Gail Logan Strange, your District 1 representative. Hi, I'm Linda Duncan, your District 5 representative. I'm Sarah McIntosh, representing District 7 on the JCPS Board of Education. Earlier this year, the JCPS Board began a process of transitioning our work to focus with intention on student outcomes. To begin this process, we started by listening to you, our community. Board members reached out to the community and engaged in small group meetings, circulated a survey that was shared far and wide. We received lots of great input from you about what your vision is for the students of JCPS, what you want them to know and be able to do so that they are successful in the future. Along with your input, we also considered the district's data about the current reality for students in JCPS, where were the greatest needs, and what might be the most effective lever that could be applied to improve outcomes for these students. The reason we went through this process was to ensure that as representatives of the community, we were capturing your thinking about what you want our students to know and be able to do. After careful consideration of your input and the administration's data, we developed a set of goals that reflect the vision you have for JCPS students and a set of guardrails that reflect the values you want to protect along the way. We'd like to share with you the draft of these goals and guardrails to ensure we heard you correctly. We've drafted the following five goals to focus the work on the district on the community's priorities vision for what students should know or be able to do. Each goal is specific and measurable so that we may monitor the progress along the way. Goal one, elementary school academic readiness. Goal two, middle school academic readiness. Goal three, high school academic readiness. Goal four, third grade literacy. Goal five, eighth grade numeracy. We've drafted the following five guardrails that will serve to protect the community's priority values for what would be unacceptable on the journey to accomplishing the goals, the non-negotiables. Guardrail one, protect safety. JCPS shall not allow unsafe conditions, either socially, emotionally, or physically. Guardrail two, protect racial equity. JCPS shall not make significant decisions without first ensuring alignment with the racial equity plan. Guardrail three, protect inclusive decision-making. JCPS shall not make significant decisions without collaborating with impacted stakeholders. Guardrail four, protect fair spending. JCPS shall not allow inequitable resource allocation for ECE students or our multilingual students. And guardrail five, protect appropriate testing. JCPS shall not utilize more than the minimum number of district mandated assessments to monitor student outcomes. The next step after we adopt these will be for the superintendent to develop interim goals and guardrails that we will regularly monitor during our board meetings so that we can all understand the progress being made toward these student outcome goals. Before we move forward though, we would appreciate your feedback. You may review our goals and guardrails and provide your feedback using this QR code. On behalf of the Jefferson County Board of Education, thank you for taking the time to give us your feedback.